don't do this to your lawn tractor. This battery is charged in reverse. The customer brought this battery in, a battery into the store that was dead. He needed a battery for his lawn tractor. We sold him this one. He went home, he put it in. Everything was fine. It was working okay. And then he left the key on. It was completely depleted. Completely depleted to zero. And so uh, then he charged it with a dumb charger. So by that I mean it's the old one that you might have in your garage that's been there forever. It's the one with the little meter like this. If you hook that up and put it on a battery in the reverse polarity, you're going to see sparks and uh, it's not going to charge. But his was so dead that it didn't create any sparks and it took it. So then the power went in negative to positive and positive to negative and it switched the polarity. So now the customer has a bad battery and he has a repair. Because when you do that, when it was still hooked up, he never disconnected it when he did all this. So then when it was uh, fully charged and he went to start it, it damaged the diode in his wiring harness. There's other things that this could damage. It could damage the electronics and on some John Deere's especially, there's electronics and in the dash and stuff like that. It can blow all these things. It can result in an expensive repair, something so simple. So you can see here on the multimeter, we have a positive hookup, positive, negatives on negative, and we've got negative 12.2 uh, volts. If I switch it, positive to negative, negative to positive, now we have positive 12.2 volts. The polarities are switched. So if you want to start your tractor, you can damage things. The way to avoid this is something as simple as an inexpensive modern digital charger. This is one of the least expensive ones that we have. And uh, it's great. You can maintain your battery and everything. Uh, it's a nice slow charger. And all this could have been avoided with something like that.